Susan and I have been doing some indoor training the last couple weeks and uh, gave me an opportunity to watch how Susan was riding on her bike and uh, it occurred to me that she still seemed like her saddle was not quite high enough so we made a couple incremental adjustments and she was amazed at the difference it made and how much more power she got riding indoors. Of course we were riding Zwift indoors and uh, Zwift is giving her what sort of what she's putting out and uh, just by raising her saddle up she's done three rides now averaging about an hour apiece and uh, consistently her performance has gone up in terms of wattage by almost 20 percent so yeah that that raising the saddle made a lot of difference the other thing that we noticed so the other thing uh, Susan has incorporated and uh, again it was something I was shopping around and that might benefit her is to actually get her well I discovered there is such a thing as uh, cycling shoes road bike shoes uh, that are designed for riding a bike but do not have any sort of cleat on them uh, Susan's very reluctant about going to a clipless pedal situation and I don't blame her and she really doesn't need it I mean kind of riding we're doing right now so she bought a pair of riding shoes uh, I think they were priced somewhere about well somewhere in the hundred about hundred twenty dollars maybe a little bit more than that anyway the sole on the shoe is very rigid unlike a sneaker or some other kind of shoe and she immediately found a benefit in that as well so uh, we're kind of excited to uh, take advantage of a couple things that we discovered as I said raising her bike seat up a little bit and uh, finding a pair of shoes designed for uh, actually riding on a bike I kind of wish I had known that when I started riding but uh, nonetheless little by little Susan was getting her kit more in place and getting things that benefit uh, and help her uh, become a better rider, stronger rider. Whoop. We usually uh, make a uh, U-turn here. Morning. Hi there. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Got a lot of ice in there on the trails? Uh, Not too much, but just here and there. Low-lying yeah. spots, yeah. Yeah, keep your eyes wide open. Some rock faces. <laughs> so that's like a lot of this place. <laughs> you guys don't wear elbow pads or knee I'm pads? Wearing deep, I'm wearing knee yeah. pads. Yeah, okay. Yeah, in case you go over or because you hit stuff on the, on the well, sides. especially because of the ice. Yeah. First, place you're gonna, first thing you're going to do is stick your knee out. Uh, I mean, it's, you never know. Yeah. Yeah. It's just I make it go down right longer, here. Ride longer. Yeah. <laughs> well, years ago, I used to ski, and I used to be skiing up at Powder, uh, Mount Southern with friends of mine. Oh, sure. And we were taking this stupid little trail through the woods, and somehow my binding fell off. And I just went over, and right underneath the snow, there's a rock. I hit it with my knee. That was it for the season. You get it. Oh my uh, God, that wasn't moving. We hear about people splitting their knee, kneecaps yeah. and stuff. Just yeah. the smallest. It's awful. Yeah. It's just, Absolutely. just wear the knee pad, and you're a little bit better off, you know? They took me down the hill in one of the sleds, you know? Yeah. So embarrassing, but Jesus. Oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's your do. option. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy the day. Yeah, yeah. you too, guys. Ready? Yep. Okay.
guy on the right, the shorter guy? Sorry? The guy on the right, the shorter guy? Yeah. He looked very familiar. Oh. Like I knew him from somewhere, but I couldn't place him. Yeah. <laughs> I, I first thought maybe he's uh, works for Zanes or something. I was just going to say. But I don't think so. Yeah, too bad it's uh, so strong in the direction we're going. Yeah. I would be be would be, uh, be a little nicer if it was a cross breeze rather than head on like that. But this is a nice break. I know. Um, if we're gonna go out to Stony Creek, there's the other panels. If we're gonna go out to Stony Creek, we're gonna go right into the wind. But then again, on the way back, it'll be nice. Yeah. Are you all right? Oh, yeah. I'm actually warm. Yeah, I, I was saying the same thing on the video. I'm just running the video, just trying out this microphone again. And I love my new seat. You like the new height, huh? Yeah. Yeah, good. I mean, I can't believe it. Well, I'm sure the shoes are helping a lot, too. Absolutely. I thought maybe the boots would get in the way. They're not. No, they shouldn't. I think we're right here. Be careful of the sand. You want to be you want to be careful turning through the sand too. Okay. We're not going that fast. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is put your brakes on, turn, go through the sand. You don't want to do that. <laughs> 